Well, for the Islanders, the story coming in for the first seven games of the season, their first periods had been their worst periods, but that was not the case today. Probably their best period. They scored twice. Matt Barzell has got the hot hand. Yeah, he, he really does, and, and you can see that uh, he's hungry for it, too, and, and, that, and that's a good sign. Matt Barzell, when, he, when he's on the puck, this is a little flip pass. And you know what? When you're working hard, you're going to get a break. That went off the, his left skate, kicked it right back out in front of him. But I, what I like about him is a lot of times, particularly last year, he would have circled around the net and looked for some help. He didn't. He didn't hesitate at all. And this is what, he, what uh, excuse me, what Jones is all about. He's got a tremendous, tremendous shot to get a bit of a lucky break as that puck lands on his skate. But this is a big horse out there. Had another tremendous game for, for the Blue Jockets. And then Dal Cole, really what a great player. Look at uh, coming out of his own zone. Rock Nelson handles the puck. And now it's Anthony Bovillier who continues to play well. And a little chip pass to Dal Cole who started in his own end, Brendan. And that really makes the play. And if you want to develop yourself into a good player, you can learn a whole big lesson from, from that scenario. Make your early pass, but don't quit on the pass. Keep coming. Fourth goal of the season for Matt Barzell tonight. They've all come in the last three games. He had two on Thursday in Winnipeg, but now five points in the last three games for Matt Barzell as he played nearly 20 minutes again tonight. And again, all five-on-five five time tonight. The Islanders did not have a power play. By the way, franchise record, first time they've ever been held or ever had one power play or fewer in four consecutive games. And, and Matt talked about it uh, before the game when we were talking to him. He said, I like the fact that I'm playing 20 minutes, not 15. He said, that extra four or five minutes, uh, I just get more into the game. Well, he's a typical player. The more you play, the better you play. <laughs> Islanders <laughs> had a 2-2 tie after two periods. It was still that way at the end of the third. And Barry Trot said, yeah, we're pretty good three on three. They've got it figured out a little bit. Well, they, they really do. I mean, they, they've got some skill. They've got a little bit more room, but they're certainly very, very comfortable with it. And, they, and it starts with a face-off win, a nice pass. Letty's got an opportunity, but the Anthony Bovillier really completes the play as he's able to knock it free back to Letty, and then Brock Nelson makes no mistake at all. But, uh, yeah, they, I mean, they, you know, a little obviously from John Tortorella's perspective, breakdowns in his own zone, too much circling. It is a man-on-man -man situation, and they lost lost uh, track of where everybody was, but great finish for the Islanders, great goal for Mr. Brocktober as he continues to, to light the lamp in uh, October, so he wants this month to be extended by another 60 <laughs> days or so. It's only got a couple of games left on Thursday and Friday, but 27 goals and 68 career games for Brock Nelson, who scores his fourth career game-winning goal in overtime, fourth career overtime game winner for Brock Nelson. Anthony Beauvillier did get an assist on that overtime winner, so he picks up points on two of the three goals tonight for the Islanders. We mentioned Cole Bardrow and how he played tonight. Just a remarkable story for a 26-year-old undrafted player out of Cornell who woke up this morning in Bridgeport, Connecticut, having no idea that his night would end in his NHL debut here in Columbus. He jumped on a flight at 3.30 from JFK. He got here to Columbus at 5.30. He got to the rink just before warm-ups. <laughs> and then he had to play the biggest game of his life. And Butch, you, you shared your thoughts. Pretty impressive performance. It, it really was. And when you think about the road that he's had to travel just to get to the National Hockey League with all the injuries. So there he is. He's listening to his, his teammates. And, and then his first shift, he plays in his own zone. And that could have been disastrous for, for any rookie because maybe I don't know where to go but he was extremely comfortable his reads were good he was physical not overly physical he's an agitator that's what I was told he was going to bug people he was going to finish his checks and and like I said I, I thought his positional play was good he gave an outlet pass on a breakaway to uh, to Mayfield so he could have had his uh, first assist but he just uh, continued to, to skate kept as I said kept it simple went to those dirty areas pushed and shoved hey you're holding on to my stick I'm not taking that I don't have any respect for you and and he just continued on that way the, the entire night. So uh, he has to be thrilled with the way he played. Obviously thrilled the fact that the, the team won because that always bodes a little bit better. But uh, he can go back to... Um to Bridgeport if that's where he ends up and feel really good about himself and say, hey, you know what? I can play in the National Hockey League. Played nearly nine minutes, 15 shifts, had three hits, saw some penalty killing time as well. Cole Bardrow in his NHL debut tonight.